Good afternoon, guys. It is November 15, 320, Sunday in, and it's a beautiful day in Tsuyama, Okayama, Japan. <laughs> Look at this. Holy moly. It is, I don't know why, but it's been raining a lot this week. Like Monday, Tuesday. It was raining like every day, look, but look at this, it looks great now. Yesterday, which was Saturday, and Friday, it was raining like crazy. Yesterday was like thunderstorming, so today's Sunday, I'm about to go to the school to go train. You might be thinking, well, isn't Sunday your, isn't Sunday your off day, Thomas? Isn't that the day you normally take off? This is true, but actually yesterday, which was Saturday, I did not go to the gym because it was like thunderstorming and I just didn't feel like leaving uh, my, my apartment. I literally stayed. I literally stayed in my apartment and just rotted in there all day. But actually it wasn't mere, like rotting. It was more like relaxing and recovering, which is really nice. I'll talk a little bit more about it later, but for now I'm going to go to the gym and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so here at the gym and see- Okay, my hair looks really messed up because I didn't take a shower last night. <laughs> but, but anyways, I didn't need to because I didn't go anywhere, but Today is a great day, like the weather is amazing. It was like, like I said, it was storming all week and it was really gloomy and stuff. But yesterday, it was actually really good that I took the whole day. I literally did nothing. I sat on my computer chair almost all day. And while that sounds very uh, bad, it's actually kind of decent because just working out the whole week and uh, this past week was really like, it was very busy, you know, being in the city for the conference and everything, like just, didn't really get enough sleep um, at all, so it's it, it was very good to just relax and like kind of rejuvenate, recover. I got to sleep as much as I wanted to, you know. Didn't put any stress on my body or anything. Just let it recover, which was uh, very much needed. Now, let me show you guys what I mean. So this is the Fitbit application, right? And because the Fitbit can charge your, I mean, can track your sleep. And so look, last night I slept seven hours and 23 minutes, so I met my goal. My goal is seven hours a night. Now let me, there's a cool, like this thing is cool because it shows you all your sleep for a given amount of time. So let me show you though. So this is my sleep in the past week, okay? This is today, actually I met my goal, but since it tracked it in two sex, I woke up one time, so it tracked it in two separate portions so it doesn't show up. But look, starting Monday, Monday night, I got 5 hours, 53 minutes of sleep. Tuesday, 6 hours, 9 minutes. That's, that's pretty decent. Wednesday, 5 hours and 14. That's nothing. 5 hours, 39. Not enough. This day, 4 hours and 43 minutes. So as you can see, during the weekdays, Monday through Friday, I did not get nearly enough sleep. And I was still training, you know, just as hard and everything. So if you're not sleeping enough and you're training just as hard, you're going to like kind of going to destroy your body or your nervous system, whatever. You need to rest. Give yourself adequate rest. I didn't give myself adequate rest and that is a problem. So it was actually really good yesterday that it was, it just ended up storming like crazy and I was like, nah, I was like, nah, okay, this is, a, this is one of those days where you sit in your room all day and just watch videos, play some League of Legends, play some whatever, you know, just relax and it was very good. Now I feel very good. So I'm back in the gym and like I said, Saturday is supposed to be my work day and Sunday is my rest day. But within the week, even if, if you're going to swap around break days, like I wouldn't want to do that normally, but since I felt like I, wa I, felt like I wanted to, you just got to make sure you get everything in within the week, you know. So I've still put in, at the end of this week, I will have put in all the work that I was supposed to do in this week. So it's still good, but I feel a lot more refreshed because of that rest day yesterday. So. And now I'm into my workout and I got, I'm doing a very interesting, not, I mean, I don't know if anybody's seen this before, but I got this exercise. This is, look at this, this is the setup and I'm going to record a set and show you what it looks like.
By the way, you probably couldn't tell. By the way, you probably couldn't tell in that clip, but there's two. There's two of these plates, so it's 15 kilos on each side, so it's a total of 50 kilos. Not doing like zero weight here, but anyways, this is a pretty freaking good exercise for your upper back. Uh, it uses, it takes like the lower body uh, momentum out because when you're doing pen lay rows, you know the ones where you're just bent over and like pulling up, you do use like a little bit of thrust and lower body and stuff. This takes it completely out, so everything goes straight to the upper back. It feels very good if you control it. Alright guys, so I finished all my exercises except for just, I'm on the last exercise except for shrugs. I'm doing shrugs very last, but uh, it's been a hot minute since I've done the deadlifts. So today I'm doing deadlifts as my last back exercise before shrugs. And I'm not going to go super heavy, I'm just going to, you know, make sure I remember the form and everything. Um, since it's the last exercise, I'm already pretty, uh, you know, spent. So I'm just going to do something that's like moderate, not crazy, but I really just want to make sure I remember the form, so here we go. All right guys, so I'm gonna be working with this. This is 105 kilos, which is approximately 231 pounds. So I'm just gonna do this for like three sets of six to eight. It's just to make sure I have the form down. So here we go, baby. Alright, that's second time was much better than the first time. First time I was doing that thing again where I'm, my head is like ah, some psychotic stuff. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? It's not exorcism stuff. Yeah, so second time was a lot better. Fix that once again is because of just watching my own video clips. Alright, but here we go, last set. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? So today is November 16th, Monday, and it's about the time to get started with some training. So <laughs> I'm unreasonably happy to start for some reason. So remember, guys, last week I was in the city for the uh, Jet Skills Development Conference, and when I went to Konami Sports, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, the program, bench press, 75 max reps, but, that was a very underwhelming uh, performance that I had just then. So I'm actually gonna repeat this because I don't think it was, it. like that day I didn't start working until 9 p.m. when I was uh, gone and I didn't have any naps that day. So today I'm a lot more well rested. So I'm gonna do this again to make sure that uh, I do it the right way, you feel me? So I'm gonna do the bench press, warm up, and then 75 kilos for max reps as the program calls for. So for now, first I'm gonna warm up, warm up everything, and then uh, 
and then I'll record in the main sets and show you how much I actually get. By the way, it's been like a month and a half, about a month and a half since my diet ended and I've already finished my, pretty much finished my reverse dieting phase and now I'm just kind of like in slow bulking mode and so I haven't shown you guys like what I've been eating, talked about my macros, what I was doing for my macros, any of that crap in a long time so I think tomorrow I'm going to show you guys what I'm, how many calories I'm eating a day, what kind of things I'm eating at the moment, you know and uh, just some 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 tips and tricks, not really, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm eating in case you're curious. And uh, yeah, but that's gonna be tomorrow. First, I'm warm it up and show you guys the bench press. Carlos Mejia. <laughs> oh yeah, and real quick before I forget, before I forget, let me uh, I remember uh, recently in a video I said someone had suggested that I make a video a day, and while I did not take, I didn't take their advice, and I I wasn't like. Oh, well, yeah, that's a great idea. Let me do a video a day. It just happened to work out to where I went a video a day. I, I should shout out that person's name, and I didn't, I didn't know who it was at first, but they reminded me that it was them, so let me shout them out right now. So Mostafa Jim is the person who suggested doing a video a day. And while I didn't directly take that advice, uh, it didn't work out that way, so uh, I hope you were happy with that. Just warming it up still. That was a little annoying. It was a little uncomfortable because I needed to. I really needed to pop my like left groin area right here because it, it just felt. It, I don't know if you have the feeling where it feels like there's like an air pocket in there and you just really feel like you need to pop pop it. Otherwise, it kind of hurts and you move a certain position. And I just popped it, so this next set should feel a little better. <laughs> Alright, last warm up set and then we're getting into the real deal. Alright guys, so I so I, I like fiddled with this movement only a few times before, so I suck at this. Can anyone guess what it is? Show the movement that I really suck at. Five, four, three, two, one. It is the standing barbell overhead press. I'm terrible at this, but I am going to try to improve this slowly and steadily over the course of this bulk, which is going to be quite a long one. So I have plenty of time to improve now, so I'm gonna start now. It's not, it's not gonna be impressive weight at all guys, so don't expect anything crazy. I don't even know the form for this, or I don't know the what feels good with this because I have not, I don't have, I don't have a form that I'm yet comfortable with. Like bench press, my form I feel good. Squat, my form I feel pretty good. And deadlift, my form I feel good. This, not yet, because I have rarely done it, but I'm going to make it a goal to try to get better at it. So, starting today.
So some people don't do some some bodybuilders don't do this exercise with the argument that it is not a bodybuilding exercise and that it uses too many muscle groups. However, you know, that may or may not be true, but the way I see it, the way I see it is first first of all, first of all, it's fun, okay? You got to keep it fun. I think it's pretty fun to try and master or like get better at different movements. And then also another thing is that in my mind is I've never seen someone who's really good at a overhead press have bad shoulders. So we're going off of that. <laughs> Holy guacamole. That was uh, 10 kilos on each side. 40 kilos total. That's big boy weight for me on this exercise. <laughs> All right guys, so I just, uh, didn't just get home, but I'm home. Wow. I just ate dinner, made a steak bowl. I bought some steak recently, or beef, Ameri it's from America, American beef, because it was on sale, so I had like four packs and I've been eating it for the past four days. Super delicious, but anyways, I found this guy's channel, like uh, Mark Bell, he's like a power lifter, but, and this guy's hilarious, like, just, just watch a clip real quick. Alright, so this, I don't know, like, I was watching some of his videos and he's just very, like, I don't know, it's very funny, like, jo he jokes around but has such a serious demeanor about it. But anyways, I just got a package from iHerb. I don't even remember exactly what's in here. I know only one thing that's in here, but I'm gonna open it up with you guys. Here we go. So let me just, uh, let me just scissor this box. That sounded kind of wrong. <laughs> Get scissored. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Open this bad boy. I swear if they don't give me the packets of air. Oh, oh baby, they did it. Alright, so I got some packets of air. Oh, cereal. What the hell? Nice. I bought some cereal. Kashi Go Lean Crisp. Let's check out the macros on the cereal. I've been eating breakfast, like I mentioned, and cereal, you know. Is delicious, but this is all like hell. On this website, you can only you can only pretty much get healthy stuff almost. So uh, look at this. Let's see, one serving, four grams of fat. That's pretty low. Thirty-two carbs, not bad. Eleven protein. That's pretty high for a cereal for one serving. I always eat two servings at a time, so that's twenty-two grams of protein right there. This smells. I can smell this through the box. Mmm. Smells like cinnamon. Crumble. I can smell the crumble more than I can the cinnamon, though. <laughs> All right. What else did I get? Okay, so here we go. I got this calcium, magnesium, supports bone health, joints, and stuff like that. So I got this because I'm about to run out. I literally have like eight pills left, and you can use. It says to take three at a time, but since I take a multivitamin as well, I just take two a day. So I got this to restock, and I guess I went ahead and restocked in the glucosamine chondroitin as well this these two things are good for you know if you're lifting heavy weight i'm just lifting if you're lifting a lot in general it's good to pr promote bone health but also since i'm getting into tennis now i used to have i used to suffer from really bad tennis elbow problems so tendonitis in the uh, elbow area and these things help with that oh so this is a pretty small package didn't get much but it's free shipping you feel me and i got a uh, walden farms pancake syrup because i use this on the daily so yeah that's the uh, unboxing Ooh, this, man looking at the stuff through the camera looks so nice but then when I put it in video it doesn't look as nice it looks way better on the camera screen 
But uh, that is the end of uh, today. I don't know if that's the end of this video or not, but if it is, I'll see you guys later. But either if it's, even if it's not, I'll see you guys in tomorrow, which is still later. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm looking at the clips that I recorded today, and I accidentally deleted my main set, my max rep set from today. So, let me just tell you what happened. Freaking sucks. Holy crap, man. So, anyways, pretty much I, I did the uh, 75 kilos, and I was able to hit 10. I uh, I didn't get it, you know. That the when I last week I only got like six or eight, and it was a tough. It was a pretty tough six. I can't remember. I think it was six because I was very disappointed, and uh, it was it was a very tough six reps that I like. I barely. I remember like on the second to last rep, I was like, "Oh holy crap, this is really freaking heavy," and I had to push it very hard. And uh, that was, this was last week, you know, at the Konami Sports Place, and I was super disappointed. I was like, "Holy crap, I know for sure." I can do more than that, and uh, so today I had recorded it, and I was like, and I said, told the camera, I told, uh, I said to the camera, okay, last week I got like six or eight. I want ten. Hold me accountable, guys. Hold me accountable. I did ten um, of the seventy-five ki kilos. Like it was, it was not really much of a problem. I got the tenth rep without too much struggle, and I was very excited about that. And I was like, hell yeah, but. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I deleted it. Oh, I freaking suck. So, but I did get the 10 reps. But it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny though because I was so excited that I got the 10 reps that I set out to do that I forgot that the program said max reps, not just 10 reps. And I stopped at 10. And afterwards, it's like, damn it. But I did get 10 reps on 75 kilos today, uh, which is, and it was not that bad on last week. I only got like six, so that, so, you know, if you're on a strict program, obviously, you know, follow the program, or whatever, but sometimes, you know, conditions will affect your training, conditions, I mean, that's just a, that's just the matter of fact, you know, conditions can affect your training, and last week, when I did, when I only got six or whatever, I was like, I know damn sure that I can get more than six reps, this is stupid, you know, and so I repeated, instead of moving forward with the program, I repeated today, and I nailed the 10 reps, no problem. I just wish I didn't delete the video clip. Crap! So next week, I will make sure to uh, not delete it. Because like, I was trying to clean up my the files because I'm running a little low on memory. And I guess I accidentally deleted that one. Jeez Louise. <laughs>